Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to learn your major and minor chords, every one of them in five minutes. I'm going to use a simple formula that works for every one. Actually, I'll show you the major and then I'll show you a simple way to make them all minor. This is the keyboard. I'm going to assume that you know where C and C sharp and D and all these notes are what they're called. If you want to learn a major chord on any scale degree or any note, you simply have to plug in the formula whole, whole, half, whole. And that has to do with whole steps and half steps. Now, a half step on the piano is the shortest distance between two notes, C to C sharp, C sharp to D, D to D sharp, and so on. The uh, white key half steps are E and F and B and C. So if we start on C and we plug in whole, whole, half, whole, Using one, two, three, four, five fingers, we're going to start on our first finger of our right hand, play a C, and if you want to go up a whole step, you simply go past C sharp and go to D. So there's our first hole. Now from D, we're going to go up another whole step. Remember, it's whole, whole, half hole. Up a whole step from D is E. Now in this case, we have a white key half step, so half step from E is up to F. Okay, you'll notice that we're building a little scale here. Now the last one of whole, whole, half, whole is a whole. So we're going to go to F to G, and that's a whole step. So if we play these together, it would be whole, whole, half, whole. That's the first five notes of a major scale. And because chords are built in thirds, generally uh, triadic chords are built in thirds, all you need to do is play the first, third, and fifth, and you have a C major chord. Now to make that minor, you simply take the third and you lower it a half step. Okay, so we have major, minor. Okay, let's go to another key. How about A flat? Play an A flat with your thumb, go up a whole step, which is B flat. Another whole step is B flat to C. Whole step here is C to D flat. D flat to E is our final whole step. Whole, whole, half, whole. And we get, there's an A flat major chord. We take the middle note, we lower it a um, one half step, and we get minor. So remember, major and minor chords are only one note away, and that has to do with the third. Okay, let's take a different one. How about B? B major chord, up a hole, up a hole, up a half, up a hole. Make it minor by lowering the third. So if you do this every day for a few minutes, you'll soon learn all of your major chords. On every note. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see with jazz arranging, then certainly subscribe to this channel. Thank you.